With the success of the release the Snyder Cut movement, even before it was announced Snyder's Cut would be released, it wasn't long after that fans took to social media and started a campaign for David Ayer's Suicide Squad to be released as Ayer intended. This campaign is called, fittingly, Release the Ayer Cut. Wow, okay. And it's still doing very well today. So well, in fact, that there have been some substantial movement for the Release the Air Cut campaign as David Ayer just recently screened his cut of Suicide Squad to a large group of members of the Release the Air Cut movement. This is interesting to us, as just before fans were shown the Air Cut, there was a mystery DC film slated for 2023 by the studio. Could it be the Air Cut? We strongly think so. We would really like that. And if you like this video, please consider leaving us a like and subscribing. I'll be your friend. Right. We were actually told from sources not too long ago that Warner Brothers was going to release the film on their HBO Max streaming platform in 2022. Because that would be real classy. In the end though, it ended up being prevented after a number of executives within the company vetoed the idea. You are evil. However, with this new regime after the Warner Brothers Discovery merger, things have gained steam. One of the major proponents of the release the air cut is Twitter user at RTAirCutSS. From their reports, it seems like the movie is pretty much finished and wouldn't need much money spent on it to have the cut released. I need about 350. There are actually quite a few reasons why we think releasing the air cut would be an excellent idea. First off, it would be a version of the movie that audiences hadn't seen before. Also, it's been reported that the movie clocks in at 2 hours and 23 minutes, which is a lot shorter than Zack Snyder's Justice League. Zack Snyder's Justice League is over 4 hours long, and we know that most cinemas would not want to screen a movie that's so long because it would end up preventing them from having screenings of other movies during the day, which makes them lose money, and they don't like that. That's rude. So, let's get into what the user had to say about the air cut. Here's the details that at RT Air Cut SS revealed about the movie. Hang on. Okay, go ahead. The air cut is 2 hours and 23 minutes long. The movie is very different from the theatrical version. It has a much deeper message than the theatrical cut. Jared Leto's Joker steals the show. The air cut edit is basically finished. The final act needs a little bit more polishing as far as the editing's concerned. And much more of Ben Affleck's Batman in the movie. Bat first. It sounds to us like this is a film that a lot of people want to see. There's been a lot of support for the movie to be released on social media, and we really believe that it would be a good PR move for Warner Brothers Discovery, especially after the whole Batgirl cancellation fiasco, not to mention all the other Axe DC properties. And wouldn't you know it, we have a video covering all of those. Link in the description and comments. Moreover, when RT Air Cut SS was asked whether the movie could end up seeing the light of day, they said there is hope. I was trying to get you there. It really sounds to us like we should expect some sort of air cut announcement from Warner Brothers Discovery in the not so distant future. No way. We have asked our own sources about this, and we'll report back when we get news. The question remains, will the air cut be better than the original Suicide Squad? We think so. After all, it's not a trailer company editing and butchering this version. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our news and exclusives playlist, as well as that cancelled DC properties video we mentioned. You can click on it right here. Also the whole like and subscribe thing, that would be appreciated. Thanks for watching and see you next time!